Oh man. Hope you guys are all doing good. Now this is the last day. Uh, now again, I do apologize. This was like a last minute upload. If all the folks are actually do look forward to it earlier on. And again, I'll go over uh, really briefly of why I didn't do it earlier. And you know, it's a little bit embarrassing. At the same time, it's kind of funny. And a little bit of a forewarning. Now, I just wanted to, you know, have a little bit of a blog for the last one, you know, wrap up the holiday uh, little special here, and by little I mean it was very, very, very spontaneous, last minute uh, idea, just shared some games I had in my collection and wanted to show you guys all the games or ideas or suggestions that you can probably muster by Christmas time. Some people like the ideas, some people didn't care about the ideas, and some people just like the ideas overall, so... I said I liked the ideas overall twice, didn't I? Oh well. But, okay. First things first, uh, I gotta show you my Christmas gifts I got. Now, I got... where is it? I already redeemed this. I got a 12-month card for uh, Xbox, because I, I like playing it online, even though I get frustrated with the uh, Modern Warfare 3. I get... I mean... I won't go into that, it's not, this video is not about that, it's just, uh, I get frustrated with so many online games, but at the same time it's good and thumb, it's very soothing, it's very soothing, because you out the rage in the game, you're not taking it out on anybody else, and you can say whatever you want, as long as the microphone's not plugged in, I'm benching my freedom of speech, which is technically how the freedom of speech is supposed to roll out, people think it's public, uh, speech, but technically it's behind closed doors in front of a couple people that you can express your freedom of speech. Whatever, we'll get into that when people are just gonna like uh, try to pop open a can of worms with that one. But uh, okay, got a couple games as well, a couple retro, and got this earlier this morning when I was like half out of it, and this was Dino City. Now. A lot of folks probably thinking this is some sort of movie based game. I don't really know at the end of the day. I don't really know the uh, history behind this game. Other than I played it for a while and I liked it. It was really fucking hard. But that was a good part about it. It had like kind of like this uh, kids kind of style to it. As soon as I mentioned that, 30 people's brains just like exploded going, oh, fuck that. But no, uh, hear me out, it's a really challenging Joe Max style game where you ride a dinosaur and each dinosaur has like a special attack. Like the female one which I mostly pick, people go, oh, you're picking it about because you're just like a pedophile. No, because the uh, pink dinosaur has the arrows and I don't have to get hit by enemies that way, assholes. Anyway, um, <laughs> and you know, the, the first one you get to select on the screen, if you don't press B, is the uh, green dinosaur and he does a close range attack, which it's a little bit more, if you want to be challenged, play with that one. Because you don't quite kill enemies right away with that one. It's a little bit of a weird imbalance. I mean, if you're having something that's doing close range, at least give them a little bit more oomph with that uh, Macy uses. But, again, overall, it's actually a very cool game. It's it has, like, that Japanese hardcore style to it. That's why I actually call most Japanese games with extreme difficulty. It's hardcore Japanese style. And it, it, it offers itself to be a very good um, overall platformer. So, again, that's a Dino City. You probably will find this on the cheap. It... I believe it was a... I requested this a while back, and I was like, if you want to really get me something for Christmas, just grab me this and this and this. You know, a couple things. And that one's out of the way. Another game here, which is actually... it's has had different names across different platforms. And this game was made by Next Off. Kind of had to say it a little bit fast, because I don't really know the name fully well. But uh, that's Castle Quest. Castle Quest? Castle Quest. There we go. Speech impediment. <laughs> uh, Castle Quest is sort of like a... Uh, si it is actually a side-scrolling uh, adventure game with some action elements. It has also that kind of reference to Pitfall a little bit, too. Like, you have to go through like, certain obstacles in the game. It's overall, it's kind of like I want to be the guy, but uh, less challenging than I want to be the guy. Drastically less challenging. You're going to learn the areas every time you replay the game because, trust me, you're going to want to replay this game quite a few times before you get it down to like a science. For me, I, it took me like at least, and I'm not even lying to you, 50 fucking times playing this game over and over and over before I got it down decent. Played it more recently, I was a little bit mediocre at it, I wasn't great at it, but overall it's just a great adventure side-scrolling game. It's cheap, 
and that's what matters to me. I'm, I like cheap, good games, you know, fuck. But, uh, yeah, I mean, most people probably looked at this game, thought it was an RPG or something like that. It's not really an RPG, it's more of an action RP, uh, adventure game, side-scrolling elements like Pitfall. But more depth, I think, a little bit more than Pitfall. Pitfall just goes on fucking forever. But a great game overall, I mean, it's not bad, it's good. And for all those who probably own it at different platforms, probably could attest saying, oh, my version's superior. Cool. Um, <laughs> and the last gift I actually uh, requested for Christmas, uh, with me, Christmas, I'm a little bit tired and I'll go into the story of why I'm kind of, kind of uh, situation, is, well, I requested this as soon as uh, the game came out for this one. And this is a limited edition book, which I'm probably going to get like a book cover for it, so that way it protects it, but... That is the Gears of War 3 limited edition uh, book. I, I loved the series overall. I thought all of them were good. Uh, part 2 had a little bit more of a stronger storyline, I think, than Part 3. Part 3 still had a great storyline. It just wasn't, you know... I don't know what the bitch did to the storyline. She kind of fucked up some things here and there, but... You know, overall it's good. I like the ending. It was a great ending. I'm not downloading any of the DLC for the game. I, you know, I supported Epic as far as I want to throw them. And uh, this book's quite heavy, so I'm not throwing it too far. But, you know, overall, I appreciated the uh, effort behind Epic of making a good trilogy. Knowing Epic, though, they're going to make a Gears of War 4 and truly totally throw my enthusiasm about the series out the window. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to pull a uh, Omega and go hypocritical and probably buy it anyway. Uh, but overall, you know, this book, I was reading some of it while I was on the can. It gets me a best reading done on the can, I'm not kidding you guys. Seriously, like, one time I read through the entire manual for Mega Man 2, and then I went back to go play it, I played it like a champ. I was playing it like a champ. Seriously, if you have a problem with one of those challenging games, read one of the fucking manuals while you're on the can, and go play it after, you'll play like a pro. Like, you'll be playing like your MLG dirty shooting uh, legit fucking pro. Watch, hell, even pull up the fucking Modern Warfare 3 with a pamphlet, which is, it's not even a guide, it's a damn pamphlet. You pull that up, read the fucking pamphlet, the little warning symbols and all that shit, go play the game, you play like a pro, I swear. You gotta to to take a dump, though, and it can't be a pee. You can't be standing there holding it because you gotta hold your junk. If you don't hold your junk, shit's gonna go everywhere. And you know, your girlfriend or your wife or your kids are gonna slip and slide in it and shit and be like, what the fuck is this shit? Who didn't leave the seat down? Fuck, it's a water slide in here. But, you know, you get the point. <laughs> I'm going to hell in the handbasket. But overall, this is uh, definitely an awesome, I'm trying to show you guys a good example. It has good guides on some, uh, some how to earn some achievements and all that. I mean, I was, I like, when it comes to look, like, doing achievements through games, I like to have a book in front of me. I mean, yeah, the internet has a large, ample encyclopedia of, you know, different information. It's a great, uh, guide towards, you know, finding out and discovering things. But at the same time, you know, I, I sometimes like really reading a book or something right in front of my lap. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if every once in a while you just want to treat yourself to a good-looking uh, book here, especially this Gears of War book just looks sexy as hell. I mean, for all those who did not follow what was in this, it actually came with, like, a, a strategy video, exclusive comic book, which is in the back. It gives you the three, the two free uh, e-books for Gears 1 and Gears 2, which, quite frankly, I don't need the e-books for Gears 1 and Gears 2. I mean, I've played enough as I can for those. Uh, they have a soundtrack sampler, which I kind of was thinking, why can't you just give us the whole fucking album? I mean, you made us pay like thirty four ninety nine. I mean, they did spoil us enough with all this extra content, the comic book and the, you know, the two free e-books. That's fine, and you get the free marketplace strategy video, which is like some girl bouncing her tits on the camera, and her just like, ah! But, again, I digress. Uh, closing out, great strategy guide. I was reading through it, and, you know, I'm going to be using it for sure and getting rid of some of the achievements done. So, okay. Now, was the reason I wasn't doing the video earlier is quite simply put, uh, well... As I was getting these gifts, my mom sort of like popped out some chocolate. You know those cheap dollar chocolates there have like a little bunny on there or some shit? And she gives those, she gives out those like, uh, these chocolates and they just look good. I mean, they have those peanut butter nuts and them and all that. And I, I like peanut butter. I like that, like, you know, that Reese's flavored peanut butter. I like it on sandwich bread. I like it in general and it's good peanut butter style. So I took a bite out of it and ate like one of those. 
and one of the other ones, they had another, another one of the other flavors, to try it out, which is like the peppermint one, which is, it was good. It's pretty good for a cheap piece of chocolate, but, you know, after I ate it, you know, I didn't feel nothing from it. It was like a normal, you know, eating chocolate kind of bonbon sitting on the couch watching Home Improvement. But, you know, after a while, like later on today, you know, I was going to the store and my stomach started rumbling faintly. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I'm walking over, getting some soda here, and... I'm going to polish that off because that was bothering me. Um, and lo and behold, my stomach was like, dude, you're an asshole. I'm like, what did I do? And it was like, as soon as I got home, oh my God, my stomach cramped up so bad. I had huge cramps. It was like I was got my period or something, even though I don't have a period quite like that. I had a man here. I had like a man period or something. It was just like cramping up like no other. I was constipated. It was just this brief moment today. It was just like, oh. So I grabbed the heating pad, put it across my stomach, you know, to kind of swell down the, the cramps, which is if you do have stomach cramps, guys, you have a heating pad at home, man, bro it up, watch a, like a badass movie, put the heating pad across your stomach, lay down for a while, take a nap or something, wake up, that, that crap will go away as long as you take some Pepmo Bismol and all that too, which I was pumping that bag like a champ. I was like, ah. So then I realized, wait a minute, if I'm constipated, this ain't going to help. It's just going to make it worse. So the pain got more unbearable. I was just almost in tears is how bad it hurt. Because I was like, my stupid ass took <laughs> uh, antacids. And I was trying to get the crap out. So I was like, oh, fuck. So overall, I mean, it was not a very good experience. And after later on in the toilet, you know, I was... I had like the waterfall squirts, like it was this epic, all the water that I drank to keep myself hydrated came right out, but overall, you know, it came out pretty good. <laughs> Too much information I know guys, but just some, some sort of sick humor in the back of this uh, video would be pretty good for you guys to have a little chuckle at. Uh, but overall, I was really happy about my Christmas, uh, I still got to open up gifts tomorrow for my nieces, they got me like a little, probably colored me something or something like that and I'll, I'll probably get lost in the tides of time I mean it's the honest truth I mean, you know kids make these cool things for you they just get lost I don't have a refrigerator in this room so they're not going in they're going to be lost no matter what but uh again I'd like to wish everybody happy holidays and watch out for that dollar cheap chocolate go for the expensive shit that stuff doesn't make you poop as often I got constipated and it was not fun I was pissed off I need a hug take it easy folks Ha, ha, ha.